got my hair back, got my hair back, got my hair back, got my hair back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and I'm excited because I'm finally taking my hair out, which means that I have no choice but to do my hair, which means that I have no choice but to put out content. You understand? I've been really slacking, you already know. No need for long talking. So, my twists have been in for about three weeks. It's time to go. My scalp is in need of cleansing. Oh my gosh. It, it's a mess. So, <laughs> scissors, I'm just gonna cut it. I have the mirror right here. I'm gonna just cut them out. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't know where my hair ends. I don't even see it. I'm just gonna come down here because I'm sure it's not way down here, you know? Yeah. How crazy would it be if I cut my actual hair off? But my hair isn't that long. We would hope, right? Especially because it's kind of like shrunken up and stuff. I don't know why I can't see my hair. I mean, the light's blinding me. But anyways, I'm excited to be back. And I'm just hyped to get these twists out. Even though I really love not having to do my hair. Oh, this is a look. Okay, let me stop. But um, even though I loved not having to do my hair, I miss doing my hair. Mainly for you guys. I miss like having new things to post because, you know, I didn't, I didn't have anything to post. Okay, so I think I cut everything. This is a look, hold on, let me get a little picture and whatever, just in case I wanna post on for the gram. Cause this right here, hold on, hold on. You know, just in case. You got it, you gotta take a screenshot and tag me. DM it to me if you're a real one, you know? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just untwist. The thing about this hair, I, this is crochet hair. My cousin told me to get this hair and uh, follow her on Instagram. I'll leave it down below. Um, Cause she does do hair, if you're in the Miami area, she does do twists and stuff like that. Basically this is like crochet hair and it did give a really nice look. But this thing is tangled up in here. Mind you, I haven't washed my hair. I haven't done anything to this hair since it's been in my head. Hi hair. Oh, I missed you. A little bit, not a lot, just a little, little bit. Look at my roots, you guys, hold on. Look at that, look at these roots. Uh-uh, look at these roots. Do I have time today before work to clean these roots? Because now I'm concerned. I had planned to, you know, take my hair out and wash it and then go to work and come home tonight and style it. But oh, these roots are, mm-mm. Okay, let me just, let me just stay calm. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be bad, but it's interesting. Where my real hair is, is not like matted, but the actual crochet hair is pretty matted into itself so I wonder if you were to wear it loose if it would be matting I'll tell y'all a secret I put my twists in on freshly like styled hair and I use freaking the Monos hair collection to like wash my hair, but I co-washed because I didn't have, the, the thing didn't have shampoo. The collection didn't have shampoo yet. So my hair hasn't been shampooed in a minute. Like a minute, minute, like a, a minute, minute, minute. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> my scalp is really like, hey Lexi, um, you plan or you plan? You know what I'm saying? Like, you all right? And it, it's not doing too hot. My scalp has really been killing me and I could see the buildup. I could feel the buildup. So I'm going to really give myself a good old wash. And then I'm gonna put my hair kind of just like away for the day. And when I come back tonight, I'm gonna style it, like I already said. <laughs> but tell me, how are you guys? I really feel like I'm back in the groove. I have a lot of videos planned to film for you all. 
Um, again, if you have any requests, always be leaving them. Oop, a little bit of matting. Look at this. Always be leaving your requests down below. Um, and any like products you want me to try, you can send to me on Instagram at Candid Kinks. Oh my God, it's matted right here. And I will try it. Oh, it's matted. <laughs> Not matted, it's like dirt. It's dirt. I'm sure once I start putting my pre-poo on there, I can get it to like bring it all the way back down. But at the moment, at the moment, it's pretty matted up there. But anyways, yeah, send me product ideas, send me requests. You know, it's almost Black Friday coming up, so I'm gonna do a lot of shopping. I haven't bought like the hot, hot stuff since Mono's hair, and before that, I wanna know when. Um, Curlbox, I still get Curlbox, but they haven't been sending the heat. Like, I haven't been getting no heat from Curlbox, so I haven't been recording. But I do have the ORS Curls Unleashed Curl Box that just came out. I think that was for um, October. So if y'all want to see a video, I will put the picture on the screen what came in the box. It has like some stylers and it has some hair color, like the hair paint wax type of deal. If you be down for that review, let me know because I hate to waste time reviewing stuff. People don't want to see, okay? Like that's like my least favorite thing to do, okay? <laughs> but so let me know. Anyways, I wanted just to chit chat for a little bit to how do you guys say ask how y'all doing um, I'm gonna take the rest of my hair out off camera and I will come back in time for the pre poo Okay, I don't know why I'm so hype right now <laughs> Cuz I missed you guys Okay, so all of the twists are out and my hair feels like crap like <laughs> It really it doesn't feel like the driest ever, but it feels pretty bad so I'm just like going through and mainly pulling the the roots apart because I don't want it to like get tangled when I add water. Like this right here is the perfect one. You see it's crazy, clumpy, and nasty. So I'm just gonna pull it apart. Cause what happens is if you go straight into the shower or straight into shampooing, girl, let me tell you, that's how you get knots. That's how you lose hair. That's really like how you lose hair. Like, look at this. Disgusting. But, um, so pulling it apart is really important. And when I add my pre poo, which I'm about to do right now, it'll also help to remove the gunk. But I'm going to say it again do not go to the shower or go immediately and wash your hair after moving braids or twists because you're going to get knots. Especially like for my hair type, I don't know about y'all, but if I've never done it before, I've seen people <laughs> do it and literally lose hair. So yeah, I'm just pulling it apart just to help me add the product and to avoid any knots that really would be inevitable if I was to hop up in that shower right now. So I'm gonna part my hair in half, like haphazardly, it doesn't really matter. It's disgustingly dirty. You guys, look at this. <laughs> look at this. This is crazy. So I'm just gonna part it. Did I leave my scrunchie somewhere? Oh man. Hopefully it'll stay. We'll see. So I'm gonna use the African Pride Moisture Miracle Pre-Poo um, Detangle and Condition Pre-Poo with Aloe and Coconut Water. I actually really love this. Like I've given away a bunch of products in my move moving process and I literally would not let this go. Um, it has about, it's like halfway at the halfway mark and I only use it when I take out stuff like this I don't use it on my regular hair um, because I feel like I don't need it so I wash my hair so often um, like once a week so I don't really need I don't really have buildup like this on a regular basis but this product is really really good for buildup I should have went and got some clips we're just gonna wing it it's like a gelatinous jelly texture 
And I just slap it on and I go in like this. You really want to work it in to where you're not creating knots because it still is a watery based product. So it can cause your hair to mat up if you don't work it in. I haven't experienced anything like that from it, but you know, you never know. So as I'm working it in, I'm literally pulling apart whatever else clumps I feel. This is really just gonna help you avoid <laughs> what you don't want, which is matting and breakage. So once I get the roots all situated, I go ahead and I, of course, add it to the rest of the shaft and these ends. And you can see the hair like instantly moisturizes or becomes moisturized and it just kind of like softens. It just softens so much. Like I can literally run my fingers almost through, <laughs> through the section, <laughs> which says a lot, it does. And I'm gonna pull out the shed hairs if they come out because you know, not putting a comb or a brush to my hair in a number of weeks can definitely lead to shed hairs. So making sure that I really apply it to these roots, kind of like you would a perm, you know, because, or if you're retouching up your color, you know, because those roots can easily be missed. But look at how easy, like once it, I work it in, the hair is super manageable. So this section is pretty much done. You can also add some oil if you want. Maybe I will add some oil to the section. I don't really feel like it though. But you can definitely add some oil. I just don't feel like going over there to my hair products and getting the oil because I already have this microphone on. So I'm not. Um, <laughs> but this is the first section. It feels pretty good. Um, and I'm just gonna literally twirl it around itself and make a knot. Okay, more shed hair. You guys know, like when it comes to hair products, I have my favorite things that I love or whatever, things that I could care about, I could care less about, and things that I just use because I have them, you know? I think we all have that, like, oh, I want to just get rid of it, or oh, I love it, or I have to repurchase. This pre poo is my favorite. <laughs> One of my favorite, but I feel like every natural needs it. Um, if you're someone like me that does their hair all the time, I wouldn't say for weekly use. Um, but I would definitely say for freaking after styles like this, when you have braids, even cornrows under your wigs, like those types of things, you need this product. Like, and it's affordable because it's African pride, you know what I'm saying? And it really freaking works. Like, I've done the whole oil after, you know what I'm saying? Like, to pre poo before shampooing after a style, but this is like, it's remarkable, like, it's remarkable. I absolutely love it. So the pre-poo is all over my hair. The instructions say to leave for about 15, 20 minutes if your hair is super dry or super tangled. So I think that I fall into that category a little bit because I mean, you saw my hair. I'm gonna leave it in for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'm going to shampoo it on camera. I'll be right back, like, you know, be right back, be right back. I'm having fun. I miss doing my hair, but the twisting part, I'm gonna be annoyed by that. I will do a braid out. I will see. I wanted you guys to see how moisturized my freaking hair looks. Oh my gosh. Dirty as hell, but it looks so shiny. I'm just getting the, a little bit of the excess water because I don't wanna be drippy drippy, I hate that. And I'm gonna use the avocado cleansing shampoo from Natural Club. Um, this is a bomb shampoo. Found it to be 
really clarifying yet moisturizing. I just love this shampoo. I love doing my hair without reviewing stuff because it just makes the process go by faster and I could just use stuff that I haven't used in a long time. You see how it just suds up like that? And it's like, it's cleansing. It's not like stripping, stripping, but it's right at like the cusp of stripping, stripping, you know? But my hair is already like, whew, soft because of the pre-poo. So it'll probably feel better than that first time that I used it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Oh, my scalp missed this. You know, I still can't find my freaking scalp massager brush. I gotta find that thing. I be, I'm so used to using my fingers now, but life used to be simpler when I had that scalp massager. Oh. And this shampoo like spreads super easy too, like. Oh, this is a really good shampoo. Y'all know I'm Team Natural Club over here. So I'm using natural light today because my new place has a nice big window. I'm using like a small LED light. Nobody cares about that. And some natural light as opposed to like my big lighting setup. So let me know how you guys are feeling this. Do you feel like it's a little bit too dim? Do you feel like it looks good? Let me know because, all right, that's enough shampoo. Let me know. By the way, absolutely no knots, absolutely no tangles. If you don't wanna go and buy the African Pride product, just an FYI, you can use some aloe vera like raw aloe vera from the leaf with some oil and your favorite conditioner and you should be fine. Um, but I just love that product and I always talk about it when I need it because it's bomb. Like if you don't feel like making stuff in the kitchen, it's bomb and it saves you a lot of time. The time you take to put it in saves you time with tangles later, you know what I'm saying? This, I'm like a damn commercial. I didn't tell African Pride to sponsor me because I'm talking about them like they're paying me. I really like it. <laughs> That's how you know I really like it. Ooh, got my hair back, got my hair back, got my hair back, got my hair back. Okay, so these are the results after shampooing. Look at how good my freaking hair looks. You guys, ooh. So now I'm going to obviously deep condition and I'm gonna leave this in probably all day not because I want to but because I have to go to work so this is the Briogeo don't despair repair honey moisture deep conditioning mask um, I got this in PR oh this thing is thick oh this thing is thick -ums. oh this thing is thickety thickety thick -ums. it ain't even shaking up in this thing okay it smells good this thing is thick it's not like the thickest of the thick but it is thick you know there are definitely thicker conditioners out there but this is nice it's like a little teddy bear because the honey theme nice and cute on brand I mentioned before in my last video, but it's kind of just like a decoration video. So if you didn't watch it because you only watch my hair content, it's okay. I don't blame you. I am launching some merchandise. Um, some merch, as the kids call it. I've been trying to do this for the longest time and nothing really ever spoke to me. Nothing felt like I was adding value or like anything like I just couldn't pick anything but I'm ready it's coming 
um, literally it's coming very soon so what you can do now if you are a supporter subscriber and a follower on my insta and on here on youtube which you can do to be notified when everything goes live on candykings.com is you can click the link in the description box go to my website candykings.com and you can be a part of my mailing list my emailing list and i don't send emails i actually haven't sent one email since i've had that site but now that i have merch i will be sending emails um so yeah you guys can definitely join my mailing list and you will be notified first before everybody else you're gonna get first dibs um and then i'll announce it on instagram and on youtube and all that stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and give the first notification to my email list subscribers because a lot of y'all that have done that have put your email on my emailing list and never got an email from me and <laughs> probably just like what the hell I know I'm trash but now look at an email from me so go ahead and do that if you want to be notified and if you don't care then you'll, you'll see on Instagram or here on YouTube when I launch so this conditioner feels okay I'm not like losing my mind over it to be a hundred with y'all so I'm going to add another conditioner just to like get maximum <laughs> quality this is the curl charisma conditioner by briogeo i don't want to like mix brands this is bomb though so i'm just gonna put it on top what if they don't want to come out all right this one is actually thicker than the don't despair repair it's actually a lot thicker and i'm just gonna layer it do you guys layer your conditioners? Do you? I rarely do, but I'm just a lazy person, so I rarely do most things. <laughs> and actually, as the hair, as the other conditioner worked into my hair, it does feel softer. But I just want to be sure and double up. This feels just how I like it. It's mm -mm good. So, video's done. Video lock off. Um, I think that I had a really good session today. I think that my hair is going to be soft and luxurious and moisturized. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're still here, shout the hell out to you because I've been all over the place talking, rambling, and taking forever to do my hair. So I appreciate you, okay? And if you are not a subscriber and you're still here at the end of this long video, what you waiting for, sis or bro? Like, what's good? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Give it a thumbs up. It really helps me. YouTube is crazy out here in these streets. So yeah, like the video. It really helps. See y'all later. Love you. Bye. <laughs> so extra. And I don't even really be knowing why. I haven't eaten today yet. Look at these curls, though. Look at these curls, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. Original. Yeah. 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 Yeah.